Hey, it's Sharon. Today your workout is core strength and abs exercises. You don't need any equipment, but if you'd like, grab a towel and a light weight. Also have a mat or a soft surface to work out on. Let's get started. Thank you for coming to work out with me today. And if you are here for the first time, welcome also. So we are doing core strength today. We're gonna to do some exercises on the mat and then we're gonna do another bunch of exercises standing up. So we'll be all on the mat, 10 exercises on the mat. We're gonna do each exercise for 40 seconds and then we'll move on to the next exercise. You do not need weight. Bring, if you have a towel though, definitely get that because we'll use that in one of the exercises. But if you have a light weight, bring that also. Okay, we're gonna do a slight warm up. But before we do that, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, hit that red button. And also give us those thumbs up and those comments below the video, especially if you like this workout. All right, we're just gonna step back and forth. We're just gonna warm up a little bit. We're um, getting right on the mat. We can warm up with our ab exercises, but I just wanna get your blood flow going a little bit and get that oxygen going in your body. I hope you're having a great day. Leave me a comment below. What time of the day do you work out? Morning, mid-afternoon, or evening? My preference has always been morning. I just feel like it gets my day started. Bring those arms back and bring them forward. All right, remember this channel is all about modifications. I target women 40 and over, so I will always show you a modification it for an exercise. So we'll be doing some plank exercises. If you not don't wanna put all your body weight on your arms, you can always do bicycles or you could do bridges. So those are your two modifications. I'll also, also show you modifications on a particular exercise if it warrants. Okay, the first one, all we're gonna do is be on our back. I think everybody could do this one. We're gonna have our legs up in the air. My hands are gonna be overhead. Let me just move down a little bit. And I'm just gonna come up and go back down. Some people have neck issues, so you could just go like this and you can have your knees bent, lots of modifications. So we're gonna put 40 seconds on the clock and let's go. So coming up and back. Nice smooth motion. <sighs> Breathe through it. So I want you to really feel like you're crunching as you come up. My back is still married to the mat. And push. Just coming here. Again, you can keep your hands behind your neck. Sometimes it takes time to build up those neck muscles. So find that modification that works for you. Keep lifting reaching as far as you can. Again, you could do this with bent knees if you'd like. We are almost there. And one more. All right, um, we're gonna stay right here on the mat. What we're gonna do is a full sit up this time, but we're gonna come up to these um, positions. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna come up and we're gonna grab our knees and come all the way down. So come up and grab those knees. Try bicycles or bridges. I always say try one exercise. If you can't quite get there yet, then you're gonna build on that as you watch this video again. All right, let's all come down. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So I'm coming all the way up to a V. I'm gonna hold those knees and come back down. As I come up, I wanna to try to not use momentum. So I really wanna curl up and grab. Lift. So my gaze is in front of me. We're both, we're gonna look at each other from time to time, but I wanna keep that head in alignment with my spine. Come on up and reach. When I come back down, I'm pushing my back to that mat. Nice fluid motion, sitting up nice and tall. We're almost there, let's come up and hold it. And we're there, great. Okay, well now we're gonna to go to the uh, a plank. Now you can use a towel for this or a weight. I think I'll just use a towel. We're gonna to be in a full plank position and all we're gonna do is hold that plank while we move this towel side to side. So for example, I'm gonna start the, the towel here. As we start the clock, all I'm gonna do is move it. Take my time and move it. Make sure your arms are below your shoulders and you keep your glutes down. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So I'm just moving it side to side, trying not to sway my body. And I'm sure you're gonna feel that as you move, lift up one hand to the other, moving that weight or weight or towel. <sighs> Hold on to it, keep that core nice and strong. Take your time. So I'm really concentrating where my hands are ending up. I wanna make sure they're below my shoulders. <sighs> Taking a little break. 
Again, keeping those glutes down. Sometimes when we get tired, they start to raise up. Nice straight line. All right, we're almost there. And one more to the other side. Oh, that's harder than it looks. All right, we're gonna put that down. Let's all get a quick drink of water. I wanna make sure I turn off my watch. One of my kids was gonna call me today and I told her, don't, please don't call while I'm working out. Okay, so we're gonna do single leg pulses. This one also, you might wanna put your hands behind your head. I'm gonna do it without doing that, but again, you can always put it here. We're gonna have our legs here. My shoulders are gonna be off the mat. I'm gonna come down, go one, two, and come down one, two. Modification, you can hold your head, do the same thing. You can have your head all the way on the mat. Lots of variations, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So pulse down, one, two. Now go down as far as you can. Again, be mindful of your back. Is it married to that mat? We don't want a gap right here. Press it into that mat. So my gaze is towards the ceiling, towards the ceiling. Let me see if I could talk. Again, you could do this bent knee too if you want. You could touch the ground. Any way you could do it, that's fine. You're still engaging your core. Feel that right here. As you bring down that leg, you can feel that in your core. Neck getting tired, put your hands up. We're almost there. And one more, great. Everybody come on up. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a weight. I'm gonna grab a five pound weight. I would say use a water bottle or one pound weight or two pound weight, whichever one works for you. We're gonna start with our knees bent. I'm gonna have my hands here. I'm gonna take my right hand as my left leg goes out. So I'm gonna be like this, come up, and then I'm gonna switch my hands. So I'm going back and back. All right, use no, nothing at all, 40 um, seconds on the clock. Let's go, I almost said 40 minutes. Could you imagine doing this for 40 minutes? <sighs> so nice tight core, reaching, extending. So again, you can have your leg not go all the way down. You could be somewhere around here. Find which level works for you, so you keep that back on the mat. <sighs> Reach. <sighs> Taking your time. Extending that arm as far as you can get it back. I'm really concentrating, we're almost there. Keeping that back on the mat. And one more. All right, everybody come up, we don't need them. Um, I would get your, keep that weight or the water bottle. You can also use the towel if you like. I'm gonna go with a slightly heavier weight on this one. All we're gonna do is hold the weight out as we're in a V-set. So a V-set, if you want, don't use a weight at all. You can hold your hands here. We're just gonna press our leg out, come in, press our leg out and come in. The idea of a V-set is to sit back a little bit, keep those shoulders back and keep that chest out. Now, if you wanna use that towel, water bottle or weight, you're just gonna hold it here stationary as we move our legs. Deep breath, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So press it out out nice and slow. So again, my gaze is forward. I'm gonna look at you from time to time. Now you might find that as you go along with this, you might be sagging. Sit up nice and tall. If the weight's too heavy, drop the weight, put your hands down. Lots of modifications. It's all about building up your strength, your ability. Keep going. Nice and slow. Reach with those legs, we're almost there. And one more, felt it right here. How about you guys? All right, so if you need to hit pause and get a drink of water, please do. We're gonna be back on that plank position, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up in that pike, pike position. Now again, if you are, want, just go to bicycles or bridges. I'm gonna start here, then we're gonna drop to our knees and be on our toes. Push up and come down. All right, this one's a tough one. So take your time, take a break if you need to and come back into it. Hands behind or arms below your shoulders. Put those glutes all the way up in the air. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Coming down, sitting on my toes, pressing up, use that core. Come down, hold and press up. Small movements, so full extension if you can get it. 
Lift those glutes up, come down. That core is holding you right here. Push up and down, trying to keep a straight arm. So the only thing that's really moving is my lower body, keeping those arms nice and straight. Push, keep it on your toes, we're almost there. One more and come down. All right, let's take a quick drink and we've got two more or three more before we end up into our standing abs. Okay, Whew, this one, that one was a hard one. All right, we are gonna sit on the mat. We're gonna have our hands behind our head. So we're just gonna sit straight. We're not gonna do a V-sit. But what we're gonna do is lift our legs up one at a time. You're gonna feel this right in your core. Now, another little trick with this one, you can place a, a weight in your lap. Optional, you do not have to do this. All right, so again, you're gonna sit up straight. My shoulders are back, my chest is out. We're not doing that V-sit. All we're gonna do is lift a leg up and down. You're gonna feel that right in your lower core. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So lift and up. So again, as you do this, and I can feel it in my back, I feel like my back wants to slouch down. Try really hard to sit it up. Just sit up really straight. Fix that weight a little bit. Keep going. Small movement. So you're feeling right here, that strong core. Building up that strength. Lift. And if you're finding too much pressure on your lower back, then put your hands down. We're almost there. And one more. Okay, we're gonna be back up on our toes for this one. Same idea as that pike one, but we're just gonna stay on our toes. And we're just gonna tap our knees. So you're gonna stay in this position the whole time. We're just gonna alternate our hands to our knees. All right, bicycles or, or um, bridges do, will do also. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So I have a nice flat back, hopefully. My arms are below my shoulders. <sighs> Keeping that core down, whoops, hit my arm. So I don't want you to like here. Stay right here, nice tabletop, just on your toes. <sighs> nice and slow. So when you lift that hand, you feel that instability, firing up that core. <sighs> Take your time. <sighs> this is definitely not a race. Keep going. How you doing this? We're almost there. Keeping the shoulders nice and square. And one more. Oh, legs are definitely feeling it. All right, so this one, grab your towel or your lightweight, either one will work. Now we're gonna go back to that V set. However, this time we're gonna pass the towel under. You're always gonna pass the towel in between and go around. So we're doing figure eights. Right, so we're gonna be like this. I'm gonna go here, go inside. We're always going inside. All right, so grab that towel or that weight, 40 seconds on the clock, lean back, let's go. Now again, you can just go back to pressing your legs out if you wanna put your hands down. Nice big figure eights inside that leg. If you're using a weight, again, if it gets tired, drop that weight. So there's a fine line between pushing yourself making sure you keep that proper form, but if you feel like you're losing that proper form, then drop the weight. We want quality in our exercises. <sighs> keep going, press those legs out, keep your back up nice and straight, we're almost there. And one more, great. We're gonna come on up now, get a drink of water, and then we'll move on to standing abs. The next set of 10 ab exercises are all gonna be standing. You don't need weights, have that towel, ha towel handy or even that water bottle handy. All right, the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna have our hands behind our heads and we're gonna come down to our knee and come up. We're gonna do this four times on one side and then four times on the other and keep repeating during the 40 seconds. Again, you can bring your knee up here if you want. It doesn't matter, it's the whole idea about just crunching your leg. I think everybody can do this exercise, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. We're gonna do four on this side, and then four on the other. 
So when you bring your feet down then make sure your feet are in facing me. So we're going to make sure our feet are always in the right direction. Let's see if I can count while well, I'm thinking about the exercise. That's four. Let's go to the other side. Twisting those obliques down. Three, four, switch. And let's switch again. Standing up nice and tall. Let's go to the other side. We're almost there. And one more. Four, great. This one you can use a towel, water bottle, or um, a weight. We're gonna do a squat to a swing. So we're gonna squat to the side, swing that weight up. So we're using our core, using our obliques to twist our body the other way. We'll do 40 seconds on one side and 40 seconds on the other. Let's go, 40 seconds. Swing up. So again, modification would be no weight or you can just come right here. So if you have shoulder issues, you don't have to go all the way up overhead. Find which one you prefer. Again, we all have different abilities. We have different ailments. Sometimes my right knee tweaks a little bit, so I have to really think about it in an exercise. So if you have something that's bothering you in an exercise, we never should have pain, leave me a um, comment below and I could always send you a, um, a comment back about it. We're almost there. One more, great. Take a little break. We're gonna do the other side now. And then remember, you can go laterally. You could just stay right at shoulder height. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Squat, lift. If you notice, my right leg is pointing towards the floor, my foot as I come over. So I'm twisting my body taking my head in the direction of that weight. Keep going, push. Taking a little quick peek at my feet. I wanna make sure they're facing you, except when I twist. Little things I want you to be mindful of while you're working out. Keep going, so keeping your toes in alignment with your knees definitely helps with your knees. We're almost there. Great, okay. If you need a drink of water, go ahead and hit pause and come back in. We're gonna do windmills. I sometimes use these as a warm up. These are a great core exercise. Our arms are out, we're gonna come down, drive those glutes back and come all the way up. So we're bending at that waist, curling our core, reaching down to our toes. Go down as far as you can go, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So down, all the way up opening up those chest muscles, using that core as we come down. <sighs> Breathe through it, nice and slow. So we're coming down, come all the way up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. <sighs> so I want you to feel that core as you're coming down. Think about that bend, <sighs> using that whole, all your abs. Keep going, we're almost there. And one more, great. All right, I'm gonna take a quick drink and then we're gonna move on. How's that core feeling? We've done a lot of exercises. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a lightweight, my five pound weight, again, towel's fine, you don't have to use anything on this. I'm gonna have the weight overhead. My knees are gonna be slightly bent. Again, my feet are pointing, pointing towards you. We're gonna slide down the side of our leg and come back up. We're gonna do 40 seconds on one side and 40 seconds on the other. Arm in the air. You could also have your arm here if you need to. Let's go. Down and up. So I give a lot of modifications for people that have shoulder issues. Going overhead is sometimes not always a great thing for some people. So that's why you would wanna keep it laterally. Even with your, so you'd be right here, you could still go down. You're still getting the motion in your obliques. Reach down as far as you can. Keeping that slight bend in your knees. Feel this core right here. Bending, you're feeling it on the other side of your obliques too. We're almost there. Reach. And one more, great. We're gonna switch it right to the other side. If you're ready, let's get right into it. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So again, hit pause if you need to. That is the beauty of working at home. 
I think this past year has been learned, we've learned how to reinvent ourselves with exercise and realize we don't have to go to a gym. We can stay right in our house, turn on my great videos and get a good workout in. Reach down, keep that slight bend in your knees. Oh, feels like a nice stretch, doesn't it? Keep going, reach down as far as you can go. I want you to feel that right here. We're almost there. And one more. Okay, so this one is gonna involve balancing a bit. So if you want, have a wall handy or a chair um, handy also. What we're gonna do is bring, I'm gonna bring my left knee up. I'm gonna have my hands here as I bring my knee up. I'm gonna push back. Gonna bring the other one up and push back. So you're creating that instability as you move that arm firing up that core. We're gonna alternate each side. Again, just hold onto a wall if you need to. Bring your um, leg up and then you can press away or hold on this way and press away. Hold on to a chair or wall. All right, hands out if you want. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So bring that knee up. We're gonna press to the side, put that knee down, press the other side. So if you're holding on to something, still swing that arm out and then alternate. If you want, you can stick on one side and then after about halfway, switch it. Reach. So bringing up that knee, firing up that core, a little bit of a twist in your core. Keep going. So doing single leg exercises are a great one way to fire up that core. We're almost there and one more. Great. Grab that weight or towel. You can do this with anything. I'm gonna grab a little bit of heavier weight. This is a very small movement to engage the obliques which run on the side of your abs. You're gonna hold the weight this way. All we're gonna do is twist to the side, come back to center, twist to the other side. So I'm taking a very small movement with my feet. I'm not going very far with them. But just remember, come back to center. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. This exercise, I believe anybody can do. Again, you can do this with no weight at all. So my, my shoulders are square to you right now. I'm twisting and twisting. My hips still stay square to you. So it's just a little bit of a um, twist in your core. So I really wanna just engage those obliques. Keep going. Twist, keep that weight or your hands close to your body. Feel that right in your core. We are almost there. Only two more exercises to go. Wow, this is going quick and great. All right, let's put that down. Okay, so this one we're gonna do is our hands are gonna be behind our head. At, we're gonna alternate our, um, we're gonna stay on one side actually. So we're gonna lift our left leg and as we do, we're gonna crunch down. So we're gonna crunch down to a straight leg this time. 40 seconds on this side, 40 seconds on the other, and then we'll be done. All right, let's go. 40 seconds on the clock. So lift your leg and come down. We're gonna stay on this side, really tax out our left side of our abs. So again, I think modification on this, just take your time. Find that balance. Again, we're creating that instability, firing up that core. Twist, so I'm really keeping my, shoulder, my elbows back. Little small movement down, bring the shoulders right back up. We are almost there. And one more, great. All right, we're gonna be heading to the other side and then we'll be done and we can go into stretches. So let's get right into it. Your, ha arms are be um, your hands are behind your head, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So you're lifting and come down. That time I felt I was really tilting, so I'm gonna really secure my core. So if I don't really wanna be tilting to the side, I wanna still stand up straight, lifting that leg. Requires some concentration, think about the exercise, trying to maintain that proper form. A lot to think about sometimes when you exercise. That's why I wanna be here for you, to remind you of all those little things to help you exercise safely and efficiently. S small movement, lift that leg up. We are almost there. Let's get one more in. Great, all right, let's all get a drink of water and they're gonna move on to stretching. But of course, 
You could always repeat this video again if you want to do another um, 10, um, 20 exercises. So I welcome you to do that and let me know if you did. All right, stretching is so important at the end of our workout. So we're going to do a little stretching here. Some of the exercises we did today, we actually stretched, but now we're going to hold a stretch. So I'd like you to turn around. I want you to put your foot down on the ground. Let's bring our arms all the way up and reach. Now I want you to take a nice deep breath and then blow it out through your mouth. So take inhale and then blow it out. Let's do that one more time. Take a nice deep breath in and blow it out. Let's switch to the other side. All right, come on up. Inhale in and blow it out. One more time. Great. We're going to take our arms up and we're going to hold it straight up there. I want you to reach to that ceiling. Feel like you're pulling this side of your body all the way up to that ceiling. We're stretching out those obliques that we just worked on. Let's switch to the other side. Reach up. I want you to reach all the way to that ceiling. Leaning slightly. Pull your body upwards. Now let's go to the other side again. Reach all the way up. Let's bend over just a little bit more. I want you to reach all the way up. Feel that extension in your core. And let's go to the other side. All the way up, a slight bend this way. All right, now I want you to bring your arms behind and we're gonna bend our knees and slowly come down and reach those arms up to the ceiling and hold that stretch. So these are called static stretches. Our muscles are nice and warm now. We're gonna bring our arms together towards each other. They're nice and warm, so we wanna stretch them out. Hopefully that prevents the onset of soreness coming on. It also helps um, get your muscles strong, so you wanna let them repair. So let's um, lay off your abs, especially if you did this twice for a day. All right, let's take a nice deep breath up and come on down. Thank you for working out with me today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when more videos are posted. And again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say and it helps us grow on the YouTube channel. So I look forward to seeing you on our next workout.